Okay, sorry, my phone had a glitch. I'm going to start from where I left off. Okay, so I left off at miniature poodles. I had said that their size is between 10 and 15 inches at the point of the shoulder. Uh, so they're just a little bit bigger than uh, the toy poodle. <clears throat> miniature poodles are good for people who have uh, kids that like to rough and tumble, but they still live in a small apartment space. So they're very compact and convenient, but yes, they can take the uh, rough and tumble aspect of a larger dog. Okay, so the last size that I'll uh, be mentioning uh, that, that you have to choose from is the standard size. And uh, the standard size uh, is between 21 and 27 inches um, at the point of the shoulder. And uh, so they're quite a large dog. Uh, I personally have a standard poodle and her name is Pippi. And I enjoy putting her in fun and poofy frilly haircuts that you would see in a show ring. And um, all of these sizes that I mentioned, you can find online at um, AKC's website, the American Kennel Club, as well as the Poodle Club of America. Um, okay, so um, you can pick one of these three sizes based on your needs of what you, what you, what size dog you prefer and the environment that you are living in. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to be talking about are. Uh, the allergen level of poodles. There's a common misconception. Uh, there's a common misconception that poodles are hypoallergenic. Well, uh, the American Journal of Rhinology and Allergy did a study back in 2011 uh, by a group of scientists at the Henry Ford Health Systems in Detroit, Michigan, as well as Georgia Health Sciences University in Augusta, Georgia. And that study that they did, it told them that no dog is completely hypoallergenic. There's just some breeds that produce low levels of allergens. Well, the poodle is one of those dogs that produce low levels of allergens. So, um, the uh, American College of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology, as well as the Asthma Center, states that um, poodle, again, poodles produce one of the lowest levels of allergens. Another good thing about having a poodle for allergy sufferers is they don't shed like your like your other breeds do, like Shih Tzu or Alasa. Um, these guys, their hair is so curly that when they do shed their hair, their hair sticks in their fur. So then the, the benefit to that is you have you don't have hairballs all over the house. Uh, the downsides to not having hairballs over the all over the house is that the poodles have to be groomed more regularly. Uh, the grooming regimen uh, gets quite expensive. So to keep uh, the low level of allergens down um, with this dog, my recommendation uh, as a dog groomer would be to have this dog groomed uh, regularly. Uh, I would say no less than every six weeks. Okay, uh, so the last uh, reason that I'll be talking about is um, how poodles are a very versatile breed. Uh, the Florida Poodle Rescues article on poodle versatility states that poodles, uh, and even though they're in the non-sporting group, uh, they are a working dog. They perform tasks such as hunting, um, they do agility, they're water dogs, they do all, all sorts of things, even guide dogs, as you see in the picture there. Um, poodles make wonderful, they make wonderful gun dogs. Uh, according to Gun Dog Magazine, the standard poodles have scored some of the highest titles awarded in hunting trials. And here you see a black standard poodle with a duck in its mouth. That's primarily what kind of critters they hunt. They, they're not badger hunters or rabbit hunters. They're, they're fowl hunters. Uh, so even though your dog is a family member, it is obvious that poodles are doing, can do any activity put before it. So again, I bring up why poodles? Well, <clears throat> the reasons why you should own a poodle are because they come in three sizes to choose from for your liking. They come in toy, miniature, and standard. Uh, they produce low levels of allergens, so they're really, really good for allergy sufferers. And they're also a very versatile breed. They have many, many jobs. Uh, so if you all are looking for, if you all are looking to add an animal to your family, I would recommend you get a poodle. And as we all know, uh, the rescue organizations as well as the uh, pounds and humane societies, they are bombarded with uh, so many dogs. So I would, I would encourage you to 
call them to look into adopting approval. So that's my speech. I'm Grant. <laughs>